Hello Guardians, and welcome to potentially what could be a series, or the first episode of Destiny Spotlight. I'm going to make this episode more casually uh, than anything else. I was going to do this big plan to do this and this and this, but then eventually I would have scrapped the idea and never done this video, so... It's basically in the same format as a rant, except we'll actually be talking about a Destiny YouTuber in this series. I thought I'd first start off with Rick Kakis because, well, I made a parody intro and outro of him uh, as him for one of my uh, recent videos. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, let's talk about Rick Kakis HD. Or should I say Kakis HD? It's just like in his video, like, you know, Rick Kakis and yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so Rick Kakis or Kakis HD is as YouTube is known, is a YouTuber, a Destiny YouTuber in particular, with 1.03 million subscribers. He's been doing YouTube since 2012 and has accumulated over 346 million views total on his channel. As far as I'm aware, he used to actually start off uh, doing YouTube with Battlefield 3 videos that I'm just literally looking at right now. And then eventually if you go down through the timeline of his, like if you go to his uploads and click like uh, sort from old, you can see it just slowly turn from like various videos from on various games to uh, Destiny 2 itself to where it is now. Or should I say Destiny 1, then Destiny 2. Because obviously, <laughs> De Destiny 1's not doing anything nowadays. When it comes to Rick Kakis, his, uh, well, his channel description just states here. The ultimate destination for high quality gameplay guides, tips, tricks, and opinion with a focus on Destiny 2. This channel includes a variety of gaming content, and Destiny 2 is the first thing listed, the latest news and updates, the best complete raid guides found anywhere, exotic and legendary uh, weapon guides and comparisons. Which I must say, by the way, these are some bold claims he's making, but you know what, I'm subscribed to him, so like I can't really say too much about that, can I? He also has Borderlands 3, so gameplay guides build and more, but he hasn't done a Borderlands 3 video in like, what feels like years. Uh, Destiny 1 just says massive catalogue of guides, reviews and more, which does make sense, yeah. The Division 2, I think he does tip his toes back into that every so often, but I don't think he actually makes videos on it, because like, it doesn't do as well as other Destiny 2 videos. Uh, Borderland 2 videos, that's, again, like, these are just ancient with the Battlefield 4 and Mass Effect 3. And of course he says, and more, because there are times where he does get sponsored for some videos, or he just really wants to make a video on another game to see, hey, do people like this as well? As far as I'm aware, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, other Destiny YouTuber, or used to be Destiny YouTuber, I think, called Mtashed, he used to do a lot of Destiny 2 content, I think, at one point. Let me just double check that. But as far as I'm aware, over time, he's just turned into a Genjin Impact channel because he managed to ride the wave for the popularity of when it came out. Yeah, no, I'm literally just looking over it all now. I see his Destiny 2 playlist, Division 2 playlist, and I just see Genjin as far as I can see. So let me just check the uploads. Yeah, no, everything right now is literally just all, like, thing. And as far as I'm aware, because I listen to the RGA po uh, RGH podcast, yeah, RGH podcast, Real Gamer Hour podcast, with Mtash, True Vanguard, and Rick Hackis himself. Like, he has been saying that he's not really into the game. But anyway, anyway, sorry. We're talking a bit too much about another guy. Let's stick on topic and go back to Rick Hackis, right? So, Rick Hackis as a person, and in case you don't know what he looks like, I think he's alright with people knowing what he looks like, because on the podcast he's always, like, showing his videos, so... Here's his face, the beautiful man himself. Uh, he's Canadian, as far as I'm aware. Don't know his age off the top of my head, but I can tell you that he is a nice guy, he's a genuine guy. He can be a bit cringy sometimes, can be a bit funny, but I think that's just everyone in general. I think, no matter where I go in the Destiny community, there's always going to be that mix of, okay, it's kind of funny, but they're also, like cringy and I think I'm probably that pinnacle of cringe if I'm not the pinnacle of cringe in the destiny community then I think I need to strive more towards that if I'm being perfectly honest with you if you look at his uh, intro graphic I meant to mention this as well but like in his main thing it says uh, gameplay guides and opinion and I must say this is literally what I do I was gonna say that I don't actually do guides but I remember back during season of the worthy I actually made a destiny video uh, about getting Phil Winter's lie or something like that. So, yeah. But yeah, no, if you guys actually wanted me to, like, to do a guide in Destiny, let me know as well. It'd be an interesting uh, change of pace for this channel and its content. But anyway, again, <laughs> once again, we're back on topic. I have to say, I remember watching Rakakis before he changed all his, like, channel layout and stuff. But I kind of do prefer, like, his newer layout, you know? Like, it's pretty nice, pretty fresh. 
And I just wish I could strive to be like that. But like I, I'm kind of just in the middle ground myself thinking, oh man, should I change all my stuff or should I leave it as it is? But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to talk about when it comes to uh, Kakis HD. I know I said Rick Kakis a lot of times, but that's also his name as well. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, Guardians, make sure to give it a like. Dislike if you didn't like it, obviously, and tell me why if I did anything wrong. Or maybe it's just because... I've just freely talked about him without actually researching anything or doing anything, then that's perfectly fine. Then you never know. Maybe the next episode I do on the next person, which I do have an idea of a few people I want to do uh, Destiny Spotlight videos on. It's just, well, whether this video actually does good or not is another thing. But yeah, again, comment your thoughts on that. Subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do to so desire. Hopefully, if this video does well, I'll do an episode two later on. But thank you in the meantime, Guardians, for watching this video.